Hey guys, how are y'all? Oh, this is looking kind of freaky, right? Um, let me see if I can put some more light to this. I'm sorry guys, I don't wanna like be freaky and scary. Hold on, is that better? That, yeah, that's better. I'm sorry, that was a little bit too dark there. Hi, welcome to One Hot Mess. Um, and this is an adult, I'll just get everything done and over with. It is an adult channel. And I would, um, I'd love it if you all would stay, that's great. But it is an adult channel, sometimes I do slip and I do say some bad words or whatever, but um, primarily I try not to, I really do. I try not to say anything bad, but if it does slip or if I'm in a rant, it could get not so nice. So anyway, welcome. How is everybody? Um, get something to drink, uh, coffee. Preferably something non-alcoholic because we want to lose weight and the only way you can lose weight is when you stay away from that I'm telling you what I mean Guys, I, I don't have anything against you if you drink or whatever, but whew, I, there it's difficult to drink and lose weight It's difficult to drink and keep your mind straight as to um, are on course as to your life changes I definitely um, would say that um, I'm not saying it's easy to not drink, but I am telling you that if you do not drink, um, you will lose weight a tad bit easier, especially as you get older like me. And um, so anyway, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a hot minute since I have posted. I am sorry about that. Um, don't know why. Oh, I do know why. I have been absolutely insane. Okay. Stitch Manias! Oh, by the way, and welcome to the seventh. Um, last two. Seven. Doing it on Sunday. The seventh. I know most people say Sunday is the beginning of the week, so it would be number one. But I don't believe that. That's I mean, not that I don't believe that. It's not a belief or anything. Don't get me wrong. I will the way I look at it, Monday is number one, and then Sunday is my relax time even during a normal times it's my relax time so anyway um i decided to do stitch mania this will probably be my last mania this is insane guys y'all are insane for doing it i mean it's fun but crazy oh my god it's crazy i mean i haven't even done my work for today i haven't done the actual stitching today but i will do it I have a tendency to do it like one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning to like three or four. Yes, I have, um, I've decided I am now a night owl slant morning person. Um, my sleep is non-existent. I don't know what is going on. I have no clue. Um, cheers, coffee. Mmm. That is called Graham, Graham, like a graham cracker coffee, and it's really good. It's very, very tasty. But anyway, um, sleep is like non-existent for me. When I do sleep, I sleep for like maybe five minutes, and then I have a dream, and I wake up, and it's the and their dreams are crazy, crazy dreams. I do not like my dreams. So anyway, sleep is basically non-existent for me. When we get back to normal, I promise you, and I'm promising my mom, I am going to do a sleep um, study, I guess it's called. I seriously have something something wrong with me. Whether I don't, I, I don't breathe or I get to it, because my cat jumps on me, and then I like, then it's a big breath. It's a long story, but anyway, um, so that happens most of the time. But you did not come to this floor to hear about don't drink, lose weight, and sleep. Whew, sorry, that's crazy. It's four minutes in. Listen, Stitch Mania, I love it, but like I said, I don't know if I could do this every single um, every single May. Um, I see the point in it. I think it's really cool. Um, I could see me coming up with X amount of um, projects. Maybe not 31, but that's what I'm trying to get to is the 31 because I really, or 30, I think it is, is it 31 or 30 in May? 31, 31, I'm trying to do 31. Um, I have a lot of projects coming and I have done um, 
a lot. I mean, I literally am doing some. Like I said in the beginning, are super, super small and done. Um, and this is my... Now, don't laugh because I don't do any finishing. This was basically the way it, it is. And you were supposed to turn it into like a, like a pillow or something. But this is my little reminder of Stitch Mania to keep me motivated. It's my little thing. Um, I have found that I have gotten a little bit more extravagant. So every project that I have uh, that I already showed you, which was 20, I think I've added another seven, seven. And I have like eight more to come. So what are we talking about already? I think I'm past the 31. I don't know, I really have to watch myself because I have really gotten crazy. But what I wanna do is I wanna go on and I, I wanna show you the ones that I've already told you I was gonna do and my start. So this is my beaded one. Um, I don't recommend this one, excuse me, from the viewpoint that, I don't know if you can see. Um, right here is the beads. I don't like how this is, it's a partial, it's adorable, it is adorable. Um, the way it's set up, um, it's just a circle. So you have a bead. Um, I will say to you, this did not take me a long time. It was not frustrating. It is a slow process, but it is not frustrating. It's actually very comforting and very relaxing. I was listening to an audible book while I did it and, um, I mean, I just stuck my needle right into the little bead and, and boom. And um, I'll show you the setup on that. So that is what I did on that. So that was one start this week. Um, and I have already shown you all of the beads. So that was a start. Um, I don't have any finishes, uh, but I do have starts. Uh, then I started um, another start. And like I said, I think I'm behind in my starts. I thought I had to start every single day, but I don't think so. But um, I decided to do black work. Um, and so I did decide, I think the last time I told you, I um, I didn't know if I was going to do it. This is free, so I can't get in trouble for showing you what I show you. But I am not going to show you the pattern anyway. I just don't think that's right. Look it up. Get with um, Peppermint Purple. Peppermint Purple, um, by the way, I love her. She is really an amazing um, person. I love her stuff. She's very giving, and I need to go and get something from her. I want to purchase something, so I want to support her, because everything that I've gotten has been free. This is free, and the other thing that I'll be starting this coming week is free as well. But... Um, I started, um, so first of all, the way I start my projects is I find the middle and then I count and I, I go from the middle. I don't know how people do it where they start like over here or, or I don't know how they do it. I really don't. Um, I'm sure there's a math to it and I'm sure there's a science to it, but I just can't do it. The only way I can do it is to go ahead, take my Ada and um, do the folds, find the middle and start counting from there. And so anyway, um, I did that and without further ado, I'll show you the bottom. Now, granted, I wanna show you what I am doing. I am doing this one right, I'm showing you, I should say, this heart right here. This heart, can you see that or that? around the world. Okay, so when I looked up um, Corners of the World, Corners of the World, uh, what did it resemble or what was it about? So I asked my friend, and I won't say her name, and she told me it, it represented North, South, West, East. So I also, I took it and I asked if there were colors that um were a part of that and um she basically said things like we're seasonal so i went the seasonal route and i am taking my first block this first block will be winter because like as in january so january is winter to me winter then it's going to be spring and then summer and fall. So I'm gonna get the four seasons in. So my fall, I decided to take, um, it's like a, well, you know, I wanna say it's like a brown. Um, and hold on, let me 
show you. I, it's not DMC, and I'm going to get into that in a few minutes. Um, this one is the JP Coats, JMP Coats. I'm not sure if you all are familiar with it. And it does. this one does not have any numbers on it. And I'm sorry, it does not. Um, it doesn't say anything at all. It doesn't even say the, the color, for God's sakes. Made in India. Uh, so anyway, but that's the color. I thought that was pretty, a really pretty fall color. So that's what I'm using. And um, I'll show you when, and why is it, it just doesn't, I don't know what I'm doing actually, to be honest with you. Why? Oh, I think I made a mistake. I truly do think I made a mistake. Poop. I might have to start this over again because I picked out, anyway. Well, anyway, this was my attempt of this beautiful pattern. Here is the pattern again, which is the, um, it's this pattern. So hard to show you this, that pattern. Oh, shoot. I'll just show you the pattern. It's much easier to do that. So it's this pattern right here. Um, it's free and I can't get in trouble. Okay, so this pattern, and I tried my best to do it. Um, so, ouch, shava. Okay, so here we go. So, I did all the way down, I, I started up here, went down, something like that. I don't know, this stuff, this black work, I don't know how to do, you can see I'm all over the place. My back looks like this, I'm, I'm not pleased with it, but I don't even know if that even looks right. I don't know, you know, basically with this black work, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, that's the kind of thing I'm starting now. The border is going to go around and that's going to be black. So, um, so yeah, that's that. And again, I don't know what I did. I guess I started with brown. I guess. I don't know. That is now going to pluck my freaking nerves until I figure out it's brown. It's definitely freaking brown. It's not what I wanted to do. But anyway, I'll have to switch that and get brown out again. Um, so on these small projects that I'm kind of just like doing very small, I am not using DMC. And I'm going to put this back in. So anyway, and by the way, um, I don't have a lot of money. So all of you that use those really cute project bags, not I. I went to the store and got 36 Ziploc gallon bags. And that is my little baggie. So I put everything back into it, and that is how I'm doing this. So that is black work. Um, now, I did show you this one. This one is great. I'm really prepared. Hold on one sec. Um, I am prepared. I am going to have this right. You know, by gosh, by golly. It was not in June. Was it in June? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it was in February. This is the rose. Um, I'm going to refresh your memory of the picture because I did not. Um, yeah. It's called Steel Rose. And again, this is from, um, it's the, the, the design is from Eileen Gurick of Hand Blessings Patterns. And that is what it's going to look like. And I did start it. And I picked a variegated red. Um, oh, yeah. So I got this thing so close. I can't get it open. So, again, I'm doing a variegated red. And I have basically the bottom. I have the um, the beginning of a... The, this is the stem. And this is the petal one of the petals. So on the picture, this is what I've got done right here. See that little petal here and the little bit of stem? That's what I started and did. And that took me some time actually because I kitted it and everything. And um, I need to take a picture of this. Yeah, and then put that in there so I don't have to go back and forth and re try to remember. Anyway, that's just a comment. And this is the thread. Again, I'm doing the JP um, Coats. This one does not have a name on it. Oh, this one does have um, a number. This is C-O-L. 
I don't know what that means. Um, three, two, two, one. And it's variegated and it's red. I think it's really gonna be pretty. I really do. I like the mono, monochromatic or the mono um, colors. I do like doing that. And I like the idea of doing the, um, oh, poo. My needle just went right through everything. Duh, that's because, sorry guys. This is such a learning process for me, guys. It really is. It, it's, it's a learning process. All right, so that is that. And um, I did not want to stop that, by the way. I um, Actually, that was fun and kind of really mesmerizing because as I was going, I could see that the flower was uh, forming. I could see everything coming together. It was really nice. So I did like that. That was fun. Um, so again, that's Steel Rose. Okay. And now, um, so being, this is my last one that I started, um, being the crazy person that I am and just not letting things go, I, um, I did something very foolish. I had, I'm watching, um, I, uh, Stitchy Mommy, Stitchy Mommy, I think it is on YouTube. Check her out. She's really cool. Um, Stitch, I'm sorry, Stitchin' Mommy. Um, really cool. Um, I love her. I, I don't know what it is. There was something about her. She caught my eye, the way she talks or whatever. She was extremely just, she's like addicting. I don't know what it is. And and some people probably say, I don't understand why you think she's addicting or whatever. But anyway, Stitchin' Mama, Mommy, I love you to pieces. Um... I believe her real name is Sarah Hughes. And so anyway, she had got me into, okay, so I've been watching her for maybe two or three, four, three months, four months, maybe three or four months. And she got me into this temperature tree thing or temperature um, like um, projects. Well, oh, it's gotta be longer than four months. Well, where are we? We're in the fifth month. I. Uh, it had to have been before January. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before January. So, anyway. Yeah. It's been a, a couple of months. And she talks about these temperature things that she does. And then it got me. She got me into, like, well, I wonder if there's a crochet temperature thing. And there are. Guys, check out the temperature projects. And um, I'm, that's all I'm going to say. Go to YouTube and check out the temp temperature projects. It, it's insane. There's some really cool... Um, crochet projects. There's some really cool things. I will let you know this is a thought-provoking thing. This is not something that you just do. Um, anyway, so with that being said, this project I started or I am starting with the J.P. Morgan or what is it called? J.P. The heck I've been saying it. How many times and I can't say it? I'm starting the project with the J.P coats okay and this is brown um but the rest of my project is going to be dmc i decided that's what i wanted to do um because this is definitely going to be a keepsake this is going to be something that i am going to to want um and i hope that it'll be something that i will want to do every single year i think that'll be cool as long as i didn't screw this up um, and this is called a temperature tree. And I'm thrilled. I'm totally flipping excited about it. This is what I'm doing. Um, so yes, I went on her site and I purchased this. Her pattern is $10 and I think it's well worth it. The actual, um, do I have, um, I, ha I think I have, hold on. Yeah, okay. I do. I have one DMC that, okay. Okay, so now let me talk to you about this. So, yes, I think it's great. So, um, I started it. Um, I am doing mine on DMC 14, and that would be equivalent to the 28 count on your other fabrics. Whatever, okay? I'm just, whatever. Now, I screwed this up. I totally, 100% screwed this up. So, my, um, my total width, width, <laughs> 
width is um, 10 by 6. Total length is, or height is 10 by 3. So I said 11. I have only an inch. I made this, so say 11, um, I made it only an inch larger. So I made this a 12 by 12. And like I said, this is on 14 count. And um, this is the trunk. This is the start of the trunk with a branch. It's a part of the branch. And I am not going to, let me just make sure I know what branch I'm pointing to. Um, oh my God. So the branch that I'm pointing to will be... Yes, okay, so in this picture, okay, so like I said, here is this part here, and this took me a while, by the way, because I had to get, I had to um, cut this, Ada stuff, then I ironed it, and then I picked out my brown, and then it counted, and then I had to, un oh, yeah, it's crazy. So anyway, um, this is two-ply, by the way, so let me show you where I'm at. I am at the right here and see this branch here? I'm coming out on January. So this is January, February, March, April, May. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna finish this whole part of this and then come on up and do May. So I am going to work on this a little bit more than normal. So once I get my start started, I wanna work on this. So this I'm gonna keep out so I do my start, put it, and put my starts aside. Does that make sense? So anyway, that's that. And guys, I'm thrilled. I mean, this is like super duper duper cool, right? I mean, so much fun. I mean, totally a ton of, of, of um, fun. So let me tell you another thing I did. Okay, so, oh, by the way, the way I work on this, as you can see, there's no hoop marks. Um, I don't have the Q-snap. I am getting a Q-snap, a very small Q-snap. I will let you know the hoops I have I'm going to put on eBay and I'm selling. I can't stand the freaking things. I mean, maybe won't sell them because I know that some materials I'll need it, but oh my God, guys, I don't like hoops. I don't like hoops. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm taking Stitchy Mommy's, um, Stitching Mommy. Let me make sure I'm seeing Stitch and Mommy way of doing things. I'm rolling this up. I Now, this was nicely put together and nice, and I'm going to show you a piece too. But I had this all nicely um, straight last night. No, when did I do this? A couple nights ago. Nice and straight and ironed and everything. And um, so I roll this up, and then I just simply... I go to town. I just do my my um my stitching and I love it. I really do. I love my stitching. I got backwards. Um but I I have it rolled up and then I go to town. Um I don't know what that fuzz is, but anyway, and I um I do my thing. Right now I'm on the downside. I want to see how far down um uh, my tree's going to go. I think there's another 30 stitches that go down here and then it goes off. To the side. So I just wanted to see, um, but that's going to be my next thing. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make this whole thing a little bit longer, and then I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to go like that, kind of like a snake thing. If I'm wrong, stitchy people, let me know. This is getting long. All right, so yeah, um, that's my, that is, that was my surprise. Again, that's Stitchy Mama. And at the, uh, in the uh, comments or maybe in the description, I will make sure Stitchin' Mama's YouTube is on there because I want to make sure I give her credit. Her credit is due. She's an amazing woman. Again, um, if you want to do something like this, um, I it's, it's well worth it. I mean, you have various different codes um, or various different... Um, Color charts you can do, like if you live in a colder climate, she has that all done for you. I'm doing the varied, so I'm doing the varied thing because that's basically where I'm, I can be very cold, I can be very hot, I can be lukewarm. And then if you live in like the desert, de 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 desert or whatever, then she also has you a, a code there for that too. 
she's a good woman. She's a good, good woman. Um, lots of fun. Her tubes, her YouTubes, I think, are once a week. So you have to wait a long time to see her. But then she makes sure she gives you plenty of content. Um, so, for instance, on um, whenever she uploads, I don't know when it is, if it's Monday or something like that. She may even have one on Sunday. But when she uploads, she gives you um, lots of good content and... Um, and you want more so she you know she talks a little bit about her life and anyway give her some love and um, check out her Etsy shop and like I said I'm I'm probably um, oh no I'm gonna go to peppermint one and do that so anyway all right so I went on to um, the internet and I'm getting on my phone for a reason so I went on the internet and I purchased a magazine. Now, okay, so this is going to be a little bit long, long, um, 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 winded. So, um, and I thought the magazine that I purchased was a paper magazine. I paid $9.95 for it. And, um, guess what? It wasn't. It was called, it's called Ultimate Cross Stitch, and I got the fairies. Um, guys, I was, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, I want my money back, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I want to show you, first of all, I want to tell you who this is from. Wait, let me get out of the, um, I want to get into text. Hold on one second, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, text. Why does it text? Not go to text. Not PDF text. Text. All right. This is adorable. It is um, a going to be a start. I will be starting it tonight. Um, I, actually, I don't know if this is going to be my start tonight. I have, I'm doing this all DMC. I am not going to do anything but DMC on this because it's adorable. And I think this, is, and I did this right. I did the whole thing right. So I don't think I'm going to start it. I think I'm going to wait until I get my DMC. Or I'm going to wait until I'm like really fresh. So I might start another project tonight and it won't be this one. But I want to show you my, um... Think I think she's beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And so I, not only is she beautiful in this picture, she's like beautiful in this pattern. I mean, the pattern itself is just absolutely beautiful. But look at this. Is this not the most beautiful freaking fairy you've ever seen in your whole entire life? It is absolutely beautiful. I think it's beautiful because it's um, easy, it's whimsical, it's not um, old fashioned in any shape or form. This is by, um, it's called Winged Beauty and it is designed by Leslie Tear and her last name is T-E-A-R-E. -E. She is all over this um, magazine. She does some beautiful, beautiful work um, as far as designing is concerned. This one is um, here. You might be able to see her. That is her. That is her right there. Um, and again, you might even be able to see it better through my phone. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Oh my God, I can't wait. I just cannot wait to start. I do have some DMC, and my start for this would be really, really very hard for you to see. Um, it would be um, like a, a couple stitches here, a couple stitches there, because the colors I have are the colors that are in her wings, um, right in this area here. And, um, and I have other accent colors. I don't have like the major colors. So it's like all the little graffiti. And so if I started it, it's really not going to be anything huge for you to see. Like I said, I'm waiting for all my DMC code, to, um, DMC stuff come in. So with that being said, I have a big um, uh, order coming for DMC. Peeps, it is hard to get DMC. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni. 
But anyway, um, so I love you guys. This is turning into 30 minutes and I don't want it long. I love you very much. I hope you are all safe. I hope you are enjoying yourself. And I'd really like it if you would join me with this Stitch Mania. It's, um, it is a lot of fun. Like I said, I don't know if I'll do it again, ever. But um, surely during this crazy coronavirus time, um, it has definitely preoccupied me. It has kept me very busy um, in my organizational skills. It's definitely tested that, and I knew I wasn't very organized anyway, but I am not organized in any shape or form. Diamond people, diamond tubers, um, I am, I'm coming, don't worry. <laughs> I hope to get a, a video out tomorrow, to be honest with you. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So um, I'll just show you from the, the little um, fairy. I just wanted to show you some of the DMC that I do have. Hello, it would help if I showed it to you. So this is a yellow. This is um, called Tangerine Orange, and I do believe that this is 151. And if it isn't 151, don't tell me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just saying. Uh, um, and this is Blanca White, okay? So anyway, guys, um, I love you. And with that, I am done with my shows of my Stitch Mania. And be on the lookout for some more Stitch Mania videos. I do not think I'm going to do what I did and make this a 31 minute video. I am too new. I am not well known enough to do all this for this amount of time. So anyway, I love you guys and be blessed and hugs and kisses. Bye bye.